Hey, I uh, just got a quick little project I'm going to do that I thought I'd share with everyone. And that is I'm going to make some new custom house numbers uh, for the house. We just moved into a house about six months ago. And it has the old traditional style tin numbers that you would buy at a Home Depot or something like that. But I wanted to make some kind of cooler uh, metal art style ones. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, first thing I've done is I've just marked out on the sheet of uh, quarter inch particle board my eight by four inch squares and that's going to have a three number three digit house number so uh, inside each of those squares I'm going to mark out the number and then cut the number out of wood first then I can use that template to plasma cut the actual number out so we'll start by doing that All right, got the rough shape of the numbers cut out. I started, remember, with the quarter inch particle board templates that I just rough hand drew, cut them out, clamp those to the top, plasma cut out the numbers. Just remember if you do this technique, numbers are always gonna end up a little bit bigger because that's the kerf or the cut of the plasma cutter as you run it along the edge. So, Anyways, next step I'm going to do here is I'm going to box these all in. So I'm going to wrap this one inch by eighth all the way around to make them all into little boxes inside and out. So they will be little box numbers. So as you can see, I've got the numbers all cut out. I've got them all ground smooth, and I've got them all welded up to uh, about as welded as I need them to be. So the next step I'm going to do to these to kind of make them more interesting, I mean, you could leave them like this if you wanted to, but it's pretty generic, I'd say, but um, is I'm going to cut the crap out of them with the plasma cutter. I'm going to do kind of a lace effect on them. And uh, this is an idea I got from an artist named Cal Lane. Uh, if you haven't seen any of her work, you should check it out. Uh, does a lot of neat stuff with uh, oxyacetylene torch and plasma cutter, but uh, she does kind of intricate lace cutouts of uh, all kinds of different things and old pieces of junk and stuff. And I actually saw this stuff in the art gallery. It's really neat stuff, but really easy technique to do, actually. So I'm going to do it to these letters, and it's going to give them a little more pop, I think. 
and then after that I'll just seal them up and uh, they'll be good to go. All right, well that's a job done, I'd say. Um, I'm still not sure whether I'm gonna paint them or grind them up, make them shiny, or just leave them like this and seal them as is, but just wanted to show you that technique. Uh, you can do a lot of neat stuff with it. Like, like I said, again, check out Cal Lane for some inspiration, but uh, you can pretty much do that to any piece of metal and throw it in the garden and it looks pretty cool. But uh, this will be my new house number, so. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.